Um, so now let's dive into it. I'm going to skim the surface um, and show you kind of what the guts, basically skim the surface and give you an intro of what MediaFront is. I'm going to go really fast. So this is going to be like drinking water through a fire hose. Good news is I'm recording it so you can watch it back later and hopefully it's not as much water through a fire hose. You can, you can pause it and try and, re try and digest it slowly. Um, this is a website that I set up um, that is basically without media, uh, without media capabilities. This is what you get whenever you first download Drupal. You install, uh, you, you enable a file, uh, an image field for a content type. I have a content type called media. On that content type of media, I have two fields, an upload field and an image field. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's a file, file upload and an image upload. This is core Drupal 7. I have not installed any modules to do this. Um, whenever you do that, you can configure your, your uh, content type to look, as the, to look like the following and also within views you can do the following. Um, in my other videos, I walk through how this is set up. So I'm not going to do that again just, I, just for sake of time. You can watch those, the, the earlier videos I've done to figure out how you can set this up and start from there. But I still want to show you how this works. So with that said, I have, I have a grid using the views module. I'm bringing in the media, the media types and using the views module, I'm configured, I've configured it in a way to where it shows the images of all my media content types and it also shows the title and I've also made it so that if you click on the image here, it goes to a node view that shows the image and the, the uh, video download. So this is, this is basic, this is basic uh, Drupal. The very first task that most people want to do here is they want to convert this to just show a media player. That's, they're like, I just want to show a media player instead of showing an image on my node view. So MediaFront, what it does is it, it actually uh, comes with something called MediaFront presets. Now MediaFront presets is a way that you can define how you want to show your, your media. A preset is, it, it's, it's very similar to, okay, I'm setting up a display setting. To, to, that, that content will populate later. A lot of people that get, just get involved with MediaFront, they have this disconnect between, okay, I've set up this preset, now what do I do with it? So I, I wanna make sure that, um, that you understand that when I'm setting this up, it's not, you're not gonna see any media play in it. We're gonna do that at a later time. To add a new preset, you're just gonna say add preset. And I'm just gonna call this node player. All of this is the same between 1.0 and 2.0. And I'll try my best to explain what's the difference between 1.0 and 2.0. After you save it, you are presented with a media player. Now, the first thing that's different between 1.0 and 2.0 is I've really cleaned up the UI a lot. I've removed a lot of controls that I considered are just not needed, that made it look um, dated. Um, I've uh, really have tried to streamline the interface as much as I possibly can. And keep in mind, and I'll show you that this is completely themable using the Drupal theme layers. So now that I've actually created a preset, you'll be surprised to know that I'm done. I'm actually done creating my player. You can actually go in, there are a bunch of settings down here that you can go in and change everything about this. You can give it a width, you can give it a height, you can change its uh, theme, which, is, which uses uh, jQuery UI, so I can give it like Aristo, and I can go down here and hit save, and you'll see that it gives it a light-based theme. You can change everything about the preset, but the point is, we're not, that's it, you're done. Once you actually get the media player to look how you want it to look, you're actually done with the preset. So now that I have a preset, this is where people kind of throw their hands up in the air and they're like, okay, now what? My next objective is to turn this node view into a display of that media. And I'm actually gonna do that within the structure content types. And like I said before, I created a media content type that has all my fields. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say manage display. This is a big difference between 1.0 and 2.0. 2.0 is 100% field based. Whereas 1.0, it had like this really hacky field that you had to add to the node. And then that was like a consumer of all other fields. And it, it really was just a bad model altogether. Thank you, Chris, for your... Um, yeah. So now, now all of this is done using field formatters. And so if you want to show anything as a media player, there you just click on media front player 
inside the media upload. And all that does is it brings up these player settings, which I can then click on a gear, and I just pick my preset. That's all you do in the, the field formatter. I click my preset, and I'm done. I also don't want to see this image anymore, because now I'm, now I'm going to have a, uh, a media player. I'm actually done. That's it. I go down here and I hit save. Now one thing I do want to mention is because MediaFront 2.0 is field-based, you have to be explicit about whatever fields you want to populate the media player. If you think about it, a media player can actually display multiple fields or it cares about multiple fields at the same time. For example, you may have a, a, a file upload that's going to basically uh, provide the main media content. You have an image field that's going to provide the preview image. You may want to have a banner across it that's the title. So you want to have the title be a, a, a provider of some piece of content on the media player. You must configure that in version 2.0. In 1.0, I tried to guess and it was a nightmare. So to do that, you're actually going to go to Manage Fields. And within every single field, so if I go click on Edit, you will now see MediaFront settings. And by default, this will look like this. It'll, look, it'll say None by default, which means by default every field the media front player doesn't care about. You have to go in here and say, you know what, I want this to be my media type. And from here you can, you can pick what kind of media this is. Is this an introduction? Is this a commercial? Is this a pre-reel? Is this a media content? So you can actually have like uh, commercials in front of other medias on the same content type. Is that pluggable? Can you define new things to go in there? Um, not yet, but I, I, can, I, can, I can make that pluggable. Uh, so at that point, um, you just go down and you hit save. The same thing goes for image uploads. So now, as I said before, if you want the image to show up in the media player, because you, you noticed I drug the image out of the view, the display, but I still want that preview image to show in the media player, so I have to go click on edit. I have to go down here and you'll notice that I, ha I have already selected the field type of image on the media front, and you get a preview style and you get a playlist style. And, and basically, this is selecting what image style you want to populate within the preview. And if you're using it in a playlist, what image style you want to populate within the playlist. So that way, you can, it, that way the playlist is not loading a massive image to show like you know, a tiny little image. You can actually configure it to, to pull in a different image uh, based on that field. For now, that's all, I, that's all I've configured. I will, I will do this more in the future whenever I'm configuring and especially going into custom templates. So after you do that, you'll notice that my, my media player just comes to life. It pulls in the preview image. It looks really nice. The, um, the media player plays the image as you would expect. You get full screen format. I'm not going to do it because I'm, I'm afraid it'll mess up the, uh, the display. The point is, is you now have a very easily configured media display for your site. And, and if I wasn't talking, I could have done this in like two minutes. <coughs> really, really fast. So another point I want to make is if this is all you have to do for your website, there are probably about five other media solutions to choose from. You have the media element module, you have the J, there's like a J player module. There's a lot of really good media player, media modules to use and to pick from. And I actually suggest that you go out there and try all of those and pick the best one that you like. Because this is a very, very common use case that a lot of media, uh, front-end media solutions already do. But the power of MediaFront is not this. In fact, I took, well, probably more time than I should have to talk about the most basic. What I want to talk about is where MediaFront is powerful.